South Sudan destroyed economy at the stolen dollars. Please save these facts very important information to know and how. We the people condemn those who destroy South Sudan economy and its people from GDP to international donations total of approximately 43 billion US dollars. The SPLMA Secretary General Pagana Mum, SPLMA Vice President General Dr. Riyad Machal, SPLMA Speaker and the Third Vice President James Wani, SPLMA President's Advisors Jane Council of Elders and the SPLMA President Salfa Kir are the planners of running system. They dictate who will appoint who will be appointed into all the positions. After change up, who will be appointed into all the check positions after changing the system to be a dictatorship. They make the receivers list for the funds from the Bank of South Sudan each month. The Bank of South Sudan is under governor of Bank of South Sudan, appointed by president. Below is the banker's monthly receivers list from 2007 to 2013. The cars drive by and they pick up the ready bags. The names amount in dollars and the remarks. Number one, General Salfa Kir Maya did $700.4 million South Sudanese President Dinga. Number two, Mr. Cole Achen, $1.2 billion Former Finance Minister, Dinga. Number three, General Fagan Amum, Okej, $600.1 million. SPLMA, a former Secretary General, Sulu. Number four, Dictor General Riyad Machar, Teni, $500.8 million. Former Vice President Nuel. Number five, Anthony Lino Makana, $320 million. Finance Minister Zande. Number six, General Salpa Matok Gadgodit, Gangdit, $250.2 million. SPLA former DCOGS for administration, Dinga. Number seven, General Taban Dengai, $250.7 million. Uni Unity State former governor, Nuel. Number eight, General Deng Alor Kual, $150 million. Former Minister for Regional Cooperation, Dinga. Number nine, General James Cook Wreck, $153 million. Humanitarian, former minister, not known from what tribe. Number 10, Dr. Luca Bion, $114.3 million. Former Cabinet Affairs, Minister. Dinga. Number 11, General James Hot Mai, $144 million, former Chief of Staff, Noel. Number 12, General Peng Deng Kual, $77 million, SPLA, former DCOGS for administration, Dinga. Number 13, Dr. Samson Kwaje Lei, $72.7 million, former Minister of Agriculture, Pojulu. Number 14, 
Minister Srito Deng, $50 million. Minister in President's Office, Dinga. Number 15, Mr. Ater Akwen Chow, $47.2 million. South Sudan, South Sudan First Finance Minister, Dinga. Number 16, General Kual Deng, $45 million. Former DCOGS, form for moral orientation, not known the tribe. Number 17, General Nyal Deng Nyal, $40 million, former SPLA Defense Minister, Dinga. Number 18, Mr. Elijah Malok Alek, $32.1 million, former governor for Central Bank, Dinga. Number 19, General Oyai Deng Ajak, $30.9 million, former minister, national security, investment, Dinga. Number 20, General Malong Awan, $25.5 million, North Bahar Ghazal, former governor, Dinga. Number 21, General James Wani Iga, $22 million, former speaker of the parliament, Bari. Number 22, Barnaba Maria Benjamin, $21.3 million, former Minister of Culture and uh, Information, Dinga. Number 23, General Gail Chong Aluang, $21.7 million, former Minister of Interior, Dinga. Number 24, Dr. Luca Monoya, $16 million, former Minister of Health, Bari. Number 25, Mr. Fall Mayam Akech, $11 million, former Minister of Irrigation, Water and Water, Dinga. Number 26, Mr. Stephen Dew, $11 million, Upper Nile, former D Deputy Governor, not known. 27, Number 27, General Majak Agok, $10 million, former defense min, Deputy Defense Minister, not known from where. Number 28, Awut Deng Achil, $10.9 million, Labor and the Human Resources, former Minister, Dinga. Number 29, General Kol Manyang Jok, $10.3 million, Jongole State former governor, Dinga. Number 30, Mr. John Luke Jock, $8 million, legal affairs and justice former minister, Dinga. Number 31, Rebecca Nyandeng Mobior, $7.2 million, $7 million, former minister for roads and bridges, Dinga. 32, General Modut Pierre Yol, $7 million, former minister for telecommunication, for telecommunication, not known. Number 33, General Kual Deng Abbott, $7.7 million, former director for national security. Number 34, Dr. Justin Yak Arup Lay, $7.1 million, former president advisor, Dinga. Number 35, Ms. Nyandeng Malek, $6 million, former governor of Warab, Dinga. 37, Mr. Lawrence Perenedo, $6 million, human right, not known, the tribe. 38, Ms. Nunu Kumba, $4.2 million, Western, Western Eastern former governor and the minister, Zande. Number 39, General Doc Jok, $3.8 million, former Upper Nile Deputy Governor, not in on the tribe. Number 40, Ms. Priscilla Joseph, $3.7 million, not in on the tribe. Mrs. Nyalok Tong Gadrok, $3.3 million, former Minister for Wildlife, not in on the tribe. Ms. Agnes Kwaje. 
three million dollars, former Minister of Social Welfare for Julu, Miss Mary Jeffers Ayak, two point nine million dollars, former Minister for Labour, Dinga, General Abdul Aziz Hilo, forty two point two million dollars, SPLM North. General Malek Agar, $36 million, SPLM North. General Yasser Said Harman, $30.5 million, SPLM North. Now, number 47, all the people are involved in the corruption and the, hum and the human violations are SPLMA. Those who are not exposed because the dollar amount is not out, but are uh, SPLM and A's as well. This information from Bank of South Sudan didn't include monthly salaries or maximum stolen funds, but the minimum amount taken and international banks disclose accounts are open, not amount or names. President's salary is only $60,000 a year. $60, $60 US dollars. This, these funds were moved from South Sudan through Uganda, Kenya, and the North Sudan banks, taken in diplomatic bags and deposited in different accounts of their relatives, kids, or close friends. The funds were wired abroad to relatives, kids, or friends to buy houses, cars, or drone the cars and kept in houses abroad. Three figures known in transfer of the funds abroad have multiple passports as diplomats in different names, Moses Lamoya Doku, Pojulu, U.S. citizen, Anthony Stevenson, Dinga from Awil, Vienna citizen, which is in Europe, and a John Andruga Mahdi, Norwegian citizen, and ETC. More Southern Sudanese were used to take the stolen funds abroad. Some funds are buried underground in Juba houses. The, this was what brought December 15, 2013. Real Kir Pagan GCE Iga all are worried and uh, depressed from criticism of international and the national communities about corruption while the poor South Sudanese were moving to Juba in search of good life. They plan to fire Real Pagan ETC to complicate the situation of corruption and they will instead them back later and they cleared out the poor South Sudanese around Juba area because they make them look bad and they become the December 15, 2013 genocide. Solution to give the country back to 64 tribes. One, the South Sudanese commanders are on their way to Juba imposing the in, imposing the international armament embargo and the sanctions. Two, the South Sudanese will help disclose those who conceal the stolen funds overseas. Three, South Sudan is an international security and economically threat, giving bad examples to other nations. Four, the international plan B headed by U.S. Ambassador Nikki is good if implemented to avoid human cleansing and supported by South Sudanese. Five, the OAU condemns President, President Kiel and they support his absence. They have to come with the alternative. Six, eager support peace in South Sudan. They have to stop their allies, Kenya and the Uganda, from aiding the civil war. This is the everlasting peace in South Sudan and it must be adapted by all the South Sudanese friends to end the human war disaster going on. 
God bless Southern Sudan. Thank you.